Lightning have won the cup. I uh, chose a neutral-ish jersey for this video, I guess. But, uh, man, this team, the Lightning right here, is another example, or is an example, as to why teams that are ultra-talented should look to make structure changes. But yeah, the Lightning win the cup. They made some changes to their defensive structure early on in the year. They struggled a little bit during that portion, but those changes came to fruition after a while, and they managed to win it all right here. Before, teams that were able to neutralize their speed and also had enough firepower to score on or take advantage of their defensive holes while being able to neutralize their speed would be able to beat them in the playoffs. The Capitals, the Jackets, and uh, I mean, when they were a team that uh, just <laughs> looked for their speed to beat teams, like the Devils and the Bruins, whom weren't the greatest defensively, at least the Devils weren't, the Lightning were able to win those series. But series versus the Capitals and the Jackets really showed that they could have used some structure changes. So yeah, also it did help to add some defensive players to the mix, some players that are better defensively in the forward group to go along with their offensive talented forwards. But yeah, getting guys like Blake Coleman and Barkley Goodrow, Patrick Maroon, those are really solid depth players that are like two-way forwards and power forwards that ended up working out well for them. Getting by the Jackets. A lot of people wanted to choose the Jackets in that series. I knew they weren't gonna or they weren't gonna lose that series considering the Jackets didn't have the firepower that they did last year, even if they still had that defensive core. But then there was the Bruins series. They typically have their way with the Bruins come playoff time, and they did again. And then there was the uh, and then there was a series against the Islanders. Lenders, the biggest scare that they had. The Islanders had quality defensive structure. Barry Trotz has beaten the Lightning before in the playoffs, but the Isles didn't have the firepower to play against Tampa, or to beat them, I should say. They competed with them. And, um, Con Smythe, well, is that Victor? Yep, Victor Hedman gets the Con Smythe. <laughs> he had a winning goal, or had a series winning goal against the Bruins. So, um, good for him there. And yeah, the Lightning, three series winning overtime goals. But then, against Dallas, they were able to get it done. Got a bit of a scare in game one and game five, I guess, but really game one. In this series, or at least in this game, they really <laughs> dominated. They were really good. I mean, this showed how changed they were defensively because they were staying at home, or at least they were trapping them in the neutral zone, preventing them from really getting any chances, especially in the second period and the first period. They were really dominating. Dallas got a little bit more opportunities in the third period, but it wasn't enough. So um, that was pretty much it. Tampa just showed why they were a team of destiny that should have won a cup by now. But hey, structure changes better late than never. They got there at this point. It was during a pandemic pension plan playoff sort of thing, but they still won it. So good for the Lightning. Congrats to them. This was the first time in a while where I would have been okay with either one. I kind of wanted the Stars to win a little bit more just so that Pavs can get a cup, but eh, I mean... I'm not upset that Tampa won. Congrats to the Lightning, and um, hopefully now, in this offseason, we'll be seeing some big moves, or we'll be seeing some important moves from other teams.